OSP launches new colors in some of their best-selling baits. Rafa Customs shows up with the Joey Shad and the Little Boy Wake and some special one-time holiday bentos you are not going to want to miss. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. Welcome back, my friends. I am Ben with The Hookup Tackle, Tackle Otaku on Instagram, being joined this fine Sunday morning by my buddy, Jeffrey the King. Jeff, top of the morning to you, sir. What happened to your face? Well, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Your face, it's... Beautiful? Uncovered. Uh, you know. You look like... Bum homeless <laughs> chic is 2022. Oh. I'm trying to turn a new leaf already for 2023. <laughs> What's not going to change is my Sunday morning ritual with my mm. friends. Cheers, my friends. We are the Hookup Tackle USA. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. We're talking about... I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that you know, last part. You know what we do here. Oh, okay. We talk about new product drops, important restocks, drink the most amazing beer from Japan, Orion. Jeff, would you like one? Uh, no, I'm good today. Yeah. Only a couple more times and... 2022 for me to hear that <laughs> that's my other goal for 2023 turn you into a beer drinker Ooh, an alcoholic you can just drink a beer okay welcome my friends happy sunday morning let's jump into some very special holiday bentos griff and myself put together some amazing boxes for you guys we have three different boxes i think you're really going to dig it Let's jump right in. So this first box, we are calling this the Mystery Bento. Mm. Okay, so you guys know that every month we have a subscription that we do that is a $100 box. It's got a $100 value of stuff. And every month there is a limited edition 110 and a limited edition Pop Max that are made specifically for these boxes. Now, at the end of each year, whatever we have left over from each month, we put together in a big basket and we make Mystery Bentos, if that makes sense. So every month we might get, say, 201 110s and 199 pot maxes, depending on how they come out of the paint, right? So we have some leftovers. That's what's in the Mystery Bento. So 100 bucks. It is about $120 value in this one because we put a couple extra things in there. So inside there are some soft plastics, there are some hard baits, there's a custom Lucky Craft in there, some really dope stuff. And then the mystery is you are going to get a limited 110 and a limited pot max, but you don't know what color it's going to be. Ooh. Okay. It could be one of the past colors from 2022. So uh, just to show you a couple of colors, it could be like an Aurora Chartreuse. It could be a Galaxy Shiner. It might be, I don't know, Sunset Tequila, mm. another Ooh. Aurora Chartreuse, Echolate, right? So it's a mystery. The box is going to be amazing. And then you get a limited edition 110 and Pop Max. There are only 60 of these available, so they're gonna go very quick. So grab quick if you want them. There is bento box number one for that the holidays. Great. The mystery bento, okay? Mystery. Box number two. We're calling this the hookup bento. Oh, okay. Okay? So if you are a just a huge fan of the hookup, right? Like me. Why are you shaking your head no? You should be shaking your head yes, motherfucker. What is wrong with you? Okay, inside each one of these. Now, these are gonna be available in a medium, a large, and an extra large option, okay? 2XL and 3XL, guys, sorry. Just, I didn't have enough. What about a small guys? Bentos. We'll, we'll circle back around. You know what? You can be baggy in a medium. Oh, fine. Okay? All right. Each box is going to include a special logoed Anetic 
low pro hoodie. I literally wear this shirt every day. Every day. Look at this, Jeff. Oh, okay. Open up so, for me. I'm going to. So it includes one of these in whatever size you choose. It is going to include a special hookup logoed Sims Solar Flex. Okay, probably the best hardcore fishing shirt around. It's gonna include one of those. It's going to include two hookup logoed hats. Sexy red one. Looks Look familiar? familiar? Yeah. So it's gonna include two hookup logo hats and then it's going to include a six pack of hookup stickers. Okay, and we'll get to stickers here in a minute. Finally, we have some stickers available for you guys. So in total, it's about $190 value, 100 bucks. Okay, Whoa. so 100 bucks, it's yours. You can choose your size, medium, large, extra large. Would make a great Christmas gift for somebody if you are looking. So there you go, bento box number two, the hookup bento. That is available now. All right, and then finally, Jeff, That's this is the craziest bento we've ever done, okay? We're calling this the JDM Mega Sail Bento. Okay. Okay. Some friends of ours at Hide Up and Mega Bass and OSP and Bottom Up agreed to do some special runs of some product for us. This is a hundred dollar box. It's got a three hundred dollar value. Okay. So inside of each box, there is an assortment. There's so much stuff in here, I'm not gonna be able to show it all, but there is an assortment of hard baits. You're gonna get the hide up crankbaits, one of the best selling crankbaits in Japan. We haven't even been able to get these in our store, okay? But they're gonna be available in the bento. So you're gonna get one of each size, a 150, a 200, a 300, a 400, killer, killer crankbaits. You're gonna get a mag slow. You're gonna get a handful of one up shads. Okay, one of the most popular swim baits in Japan. Again, I haven't been, even been able to get them for the store, but they're gonna be in the bento. You're gonna get some vol up swimmers. You're gonna get some stagger swim baits. You're gonna get some OSP plastics, and you're gonna get an absolute ton of hide up soft plastics, one of the best soft plastics out of Japan. Okay, so in total, you've got a $300 box of goods here, 100 bucks. Okay, so it's 66% off in essence, right? Crazy deal, these are gonna fly. So while supplies last, the JDM Mega Sail Bento, available now. All right, Jeff brought up a good point. A lot of people may not be familiar with Hide Up because it's not a brand that we've really had in here. It's a very JDM brand, very popular brand over there but they're still a relatively small brand. So let me fly through some of these with you. So the Hide Up Crank, the number, the 1.5, the 2.0, the 3.0, the 4.0, it's gonna be meters, right? So this would be, in essence, like their 14 to 15 foot diver. You can see it's a very small body with a very big lip. So you're gonna get this tiny little crankbait down into the depths. It's just a great way to catch them. It's got a good weight transfer system in it. It's got a good sound to it. So just a really killer bait. I think you guys are gonna really love it. I mean, everybody throws mid-depth crankbaits, right? So those are gonna be killer. Their plastics are one of the most popular plastics. You'll notice as you start digging through them that you're gonna instantly see what brands have been knocking off Hide Up, okay? So you can see it has a very similar look to some other popular JDM brands. These were the original ones, okay? So there's gonna be some twin tails in there, which are super dope. You guys can free rig these. You can put them on a jig, you can Texas rig them, whatever you wanna do that way. There's some, um, with a little paddle tail, there's some hogs, right? So again, you can use them as a jig, you can flip them, you can punch them. They're gonna have that great kind of flat look, uh, that great bluegill type profile. Just amazing soft plastics all the way around. So you're gonna get, I think like 10 or 11 different bags of various sizes in there of those. And then the one up shad is a killer, killer bait. You know, probably the most popular thing about this is the scent. Jeff, mm. right? I mean, this is a, one of those baits that just absolutely crushes, really designed, you can fish it on its own. It's an amazing swim jig trailer as well. So you can see it's got that triangular shape. It's got that original kind of joint. And again, this is a bait that's been out for a while. You can instantly see a lot of baits have been mirrored off of this. But the most important thing is that scent. Can you read that for me, Jeff? Hold it still now. Yeah. Trump? Yeah. And hyper. It's just the first word. Oh. So there you go. Trump. Right? Yum. All those are going to be in the box. Delicious. <laughs>
All right, guys, talking about hookup stickers. We've been getting a ton of requests for stickers. We haven't done a batch of stickers in like three years. Yeah. Just, you know, I was a lazy bum, mm -hmm. obviously, right? <laughs> so can. if you guys have been waiting or just want some super dope stickers, we have some hookup logo stickers. Okay, so regular and flag logo. We also teamed up with our buddy Matt Stockton and the designs that we do on our Sims Solar Flex are also going to be available now in a sticker. So these are four by six stickers, 495. So great deal, these are killer, killer designs. So those are available as well. And then our JDM Experience logo is also now available in a sticker. So six different options. If you guys are sticker fans, need something for your car, or maybe just want to plaster your wife's car full of stickers, like I might have done. These are available now. All right, let's jump over to Rafa Custom Baits. It's not just a white box, Jeff. Oh. Okay. So Rafa Custom Baits is a small bait maker, makes some amazing glides, some amazing wakes. He has agreed to team up with us to do some special runs of a couple of his best-selling baits. So I introduce to you the Joey Shad. Now, if you guys are Glide bait fans, you're gonna recognize this instantly. It's a very popular shad glide. It's roughly eight inches. It weighs about four ounces, and it's got a relatively quick sink to it. Guys around here are super stoked for using it with like, you know, 360 imaging and front facing sonar and that kind of stuff because it can really get down to those specific fish. But Jeff, talk to me about shad glides and your experience and what do you, what do you know about Rafa? Well, Rafa's been around for quite a long time and he's actually a really, really good bait maker. He's made some very exotic glides too, like one of ones of different baits. And it's cool to see him grow as a bait maker to now we have them in the shop. So this bait, you know, talking to some of the guys here and, and throwing it in the tank, it does have like a moderate sink rate. So it does uh, sink a little bit on the faster side. But the glide on it, it's really smooth. It's got a very nice solid glide to it. So if you're looking for a bait in that eight inch size, this is definitely one to check out. I mean, you can't really beat it. I think if you're looking for a shad glide, this, I mean, is, money. this is the size. Especially with some of the colors that we have, dude. Yep, so let's go through those real quick. So we're gonna introduce it today in four colors, okay? Now I should note that each one of these is handmade, hand-painted, hand-tested, yep. right? So the colors may vary slightly, right? Even the mold may vary slightly, right? So if you get two and one's slightly different, it's because it's all done by hand. This is still old school craftsmanship, yep. right? Which is dope. So here we go. Bone is gonna be available in the Joey Shad. We also are doing that in Shiner, which that one's gonna destroy yeah, a killer. anywhere where you guys are around carp, carp or dude. golden shiners Gosh. or, oh yeah, that one's, that one's dirty. Okay, so Shiner is available in that. We also have it in, God, you'd think I would have organized it. I just bought that one. <laughs> uh, it's also available in Natural Shad. That one's so sick. Yep, so just a perfect natural Shad. That one's killer. <laughs> Amazing how you yeah, came up with that name. Description. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> and then finally on the fourth one, we have, hey, who stole my lavender? <laughs> Stealing stuff off my off my counter. And lavender. Did you just buy this one? No. How about bone? Oh, okay. And lavender. Okay, so four colors in the uh, Joey Shad. Those are available now. The other bait that we brought in is the Little Boy Wake. So this again, he he mentions this being a four ounce. I it feels to me more like a three. Yeah, like a three. <clears throat> but here is the little boy wake. Now wakes are super popular. You can see it's a real wide bodied wake. You can of course just wake it. You can walk it on the surface. A lot of different things that you can do with this thing. Again, they're all handmade, hand painted, hand tested. Uh, these do come with spare tails, by the way. So there is a spare tail in each box. So you don't have to worry about that. So three colors in this guy. We have shad. Okay. We have gill. So there is the gill. And then we have a crappie. 
So three colors in the little boy wake. These are gonna be very limited. Again, because everything is done by hand, we'll do our best to keep a momentum going with Rafa, but it, it's one guy, right? So if any of those speak to you, I would definitely scoop those up while we have them. Pricing, they're gonna be like 120 to 160. So grab whatever you would like. I hope you guys love them. Those are available now. All right, Jeff, let's jump over to OSP really quick. No new bait drops from OSP this week, but a lot of new colors in some of the most popular baits for this time of the year. And one key color that I have been dying for, they've been teasing this for over a year, this is Gold Wakasagi. So I'm gonna show you this color up close because they're gonna start making this in a lot of their key baits. Gold Wakasagi is just a super natural Wakasagi profile, probably their best Wakasagi profile. It's got a clear shoulder on it. It's got the dart back. It's got that little flash. And then on the belly, they went with just this really faint, almost chartreuse gold. It's just a killer pattern, right? So this is gonna be great for clear water, great for low light, great for dirty water. It's just gonna be a real versatile one. So I'm holding it right now in the Varuna float. So a bunch of new colors this week in the floating Varuna, including that guy. There's also a handful more that you can recognize, like Chartreuse Wakasagi, some of these limited edition color runs. So if you guys are fans of the Varuna, like us, this is gonna be really exciting. So new colors arrive in those. Just in time for shad season, we see a big restock and some new color drops in the high cut. So these are gonna be available in both the floating and the suspending. And of course, we see that gold Wakasagi transfer over to this as well. I'm gonna highlight a few of the colors. So the floating ones are gonna be great for fishing with the whip sinker. If you guys missed our shad fishing video from this week, uh, Jeff will leave a link to it right here. Uh, Griff explains how he's been just destroying fish on the whip sinker and the high cut. So definitely worth a look if you'd like to see that. But a bunch of new colors arrive in that. And then for you more traditional lake guys, want a little bit deeper dive, there's four new colors in the High Cut DR. Okay, so this is gonna just be a little bit deeper diver, six grams, so just under a quarter ounce, and you get four really nice new natural bait fish patterns uh, in the High Cut DR. So those are available now from OSP. All right, Jeff, we also see a big restock and four new colorways arrive in the OSP Dunk. Now it's been a year since OSP has made the Dunk and the Power Dunk. So I'm just gonna take a second, make sure you guys remember what this bait even does. So here's a look at the four new colors, of course, including the gold Wakasagi, right? Now, the Dunk is a really dope bait here. I'm gonna show you the Power Dunk too. So there's the Dunk and the Power Dunk, okay? So new colors in that as well. Now I wanna show you a side-by-side -side comparison of these. This is a great jerkbait slash crankbait hybrid. Jeff, will you hold this for me? That's the power dunk. I'll take a regular dunk out and we'll show you the side-by-side -side comparison. Now to spec it, the regular dunk is 48 millimeters, five grams. The power dunk is 57 millimeters, eight grams. Okay, so there's definitely a weight difference. You can see the size difference. This is that gold wakasagi I was just telling you guys about. Just a super killer pattern. but. This is a very amazing finesse. I think of it as a finesse crankbait, almost like a shad, but it has the ability to crank a little bit more. It's a very unique profile in that it's long and thin, has a really long bill. It suspends beautifully, so it's a great one for fishing in current, for fishing anywhere where you just need to be a little bit more stealth in your approach and they don't want a big wide body crankbait, the dunk can be absolutely killer. So if you guys are looking for a finesse option, in that finesse crankbait, there are rattles in it. It does have a weight transfer system, right? So it's gonna cast like a dream. So just a great bait. So the Dunk and Power Dunk back plus new colors from OSP. All right, a couple of quick restock notes to let you guys know about with Mega Bass. Let's start in 110s. We see a return of a couple of our best selling 110 colors. Secret Grape is back. SB OB Shad returns in both a 110 and a 110 Silent. If you guys are looking for a like a stocking stuffer or something special for a fisherman in your house, this would be a great one to pick up. SB OB Shad, of course, is that color that looks just very natural, but then as it flashes, you get that kind of reddish orange hit underneath. One of our best selling colors, it usually sells out immediately when it's back. So those are available in a 110 and a 110 Silent. 
We also got the last of the batch. Mega Bass found a little extra shipment of the Last Respect Series color Ito Gori in a 110. So if you guys missed out on this or maybe you just wanna pick up a limited edition kind of one-time offering, this would be a great time to pick it up. So Ito Gori is that beautiful kind of watermelon, transparent color that has that kind of orangish belly, a little bit of blue pearl highlight and some spots. It's kind of like an Aaron's Magic in a jerk bait. It's mm. the easiest way to describe it, I think. So super sexy color, great for clear water, fishing around grass. Those are available. This is the last of the batch. So when they're gone, they're gone. So if you guys missed out or just want to add some to your collection, those are also available again from Mega Bass. This would be a great time to scoop up 110s uh, plus ones and 110 juniors. So all the colors return in those as well. So if you guys have been waiting, I'm just dropping stuff like crazy today, Jeff. It's all right. It's almost Christmas. It I didn't drop stuff. So there you go. 110s, 110 juniors, those all return. So all colors are back in those. And then just in time for our winter topwater season, mm -hmm. right? We finally get a restock of Mega Dog and Mega Dog X. So you guys probably aren't going to be throwing these for a while. But if you want to plan or maybe you just want to get something big, mm -hmm. here you go. So all colors return. Mega Dog X's are back. Mega Dogs are back in all the key colors as well from Mega Bass. All right, Jeff, a couple brands we don't talk about a lot. How about Spro? Whoa. When's the last time we talked about them? When's the last time you saw one of these? Uh, maybe a decade or two. <laughs> it feels like it. So one of our best-selling rats returns. Now, they have been teasing the return of this thing for a year, mm -hmm. okay? We only get it back in the 40 size, okay? Oh. So just a little one for right now, but this is actually one of the best-selling sizes. So if you guys have been waiting on Spro Rats to return, if you like that 40 size, they return in all colors. If you don't know about the Spro Wrap, let me just spec it out for you. Maybe. Are there any specs on there? Four inches, one ounce. Okay, so we've got the Chrome Wrap, right? The natural Chrome Yeah, we've got that other natural sexy, sexy Wrap, right? Oh, don't forget the Morning Dawn Wrap, right? And then, I don't know. I guess those two. Oh, okay. So there you go. If you guys have been waiting, the Spro Rat finally returns. How about another bait that we almost never talk about? Strike King. Holy. <laughs> it's been ages since Jeez. we've had new colors drop in Strike King, but I know a lot of you guys are fans of 8XDs, 10XDs, 6XDs. We see a big restock plus a bunch of new colors, all kinds of new colorways uh, showing up in these as well. So if you guys are Deep Crank fans, great time to check those out. Uh, new this week from Strike King. Wow. Uttering the word Strike King. Might be the what's first video. time ever. Fuck, dude. That's what's happening to this place. <laughs> All right, while we're on rats, Jeff, we get a big restock this week from PB Rat okay. as well. So this is a rat that you and I throw a lot. We also get a couple of new colors. So white and black swirl, not to be confused with black and white swirl. Oh, okay. This yeah. is PB Rat colors, right? Brown, gray, black swirl, not to be confused with gray, black, brown swirl. Okay. New so, colors. Dude, we are, we are, there are some very <laughs> fine color splitting happening here, but some really dope colors and some dope returns from PB Rat. So if you guys have been waiting on some, definitely check those out. All right, speaking of just in time for some top water season. Hell yeah. Stand by. That's all I just wanted you to watch me drink. Oh. Did that do it for you? I've probably watched you drink, sip beer for at least an hour. It's probably creepy. If you totally multiply it all the times Mm -hmm. that you and I have been together. Because yes. literally every time we have a meeting, yeah. go out to beer, dinner or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. God, yeah. You're basically like my super fan. <laughs> Stalker. Yeah. We're married, Jeff. I follow you around. <laughs> All right. New release for the store from Nori's Japan. Nori's is one of those brands that it's very difficult to get in. They just don't produce a lot. And pretty much everything they produce is just gobbled over in Japan. This is the, say it, Jeff. Hoshokun? Hoshokun. Nailed it. Um, what is it? It's a, it's a walking bait. It's not a frog? It's a frog walking bait. I uh, see. Okay, here you go. This one's pretty dope. So, it is a hollow body, just like a frog would be, but it is in a 
more of a traditional topwater shape, like a cigar shape, like something like a Sammy or a Dog X or something like that would be. So you're going to get that same side to side walk that you would with a traditional walking topwater, but in a hollow bodied version. So you're gonna be able to throw it over some nasty cover or back in places where you wouldn't put a treble hooked bait, right? So if you're looking for a different option, it's obviously much thinner and slimmer than a traditional frog. So it's gonna have more of that gliding, you know, bait fish type movement versus a frog type movement something different, something cool. I think you guys will dig it. So it's available in a bunch of colors from shads to blacks to bluegills, right? All kinds of things. I'll spec it out really quick for you guys. It's 76 millimeters, 11 grams. So you're basically at a three eighths of an ounce there. So new from Nori's, the Hoshikwan, available now. All right, Jeff, a restock in one of our best selling paddle tail swim baits and a new color from Signal. This is the Signal Devil Swimmer. Now this is the six inch, one ounce bait. You've thrown this bait I quite have. a bit. Yeah. I really dig this bait. It's actually really badass. Yeah. It's really nice because I like to skip it under docks and under trees and stuff like that. Yep. It skips really, really well actually. It does. And it folds up nice. So like you don't have to have giant fish to eat it. Like I was catching one and a half to two pounders on it and they were crushing it. Totally. So, you know, uh, on the surface, I know what's going to happen. It looks like a mag draft. It's just yeah. a mag Every draft. six inch paddle tail swim bait <laughs> looks like a mag draft, right? <laughs> so what's different about this in a mag draft? Well, mag draft is its own thing that's designed to vibrate really hard and mm -hmm. create a draft, right? This is more going to be like a true swimming style bait. It has a great swim. It's soft. So so it's got a lot more movement to it. Uh, and they've got some really killer patterns, so excited to get those back, plus a new color. And this is a dope color, but I got it just for the name. And uh, what's the name of it, buddy? Ooh, gooey. Oh, God. You love it when I say ooh, gooey. Do you wanna play with my ooh, gooey? That does not look like ooh gooey. <laughs> it, it looks nothing like a gooey, but you know what? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Don't laugh Here's a new that. gooey signal. So there you go. Just a nice natural bait. It has that little clip right there. So it comes with a double hook versus a treble, right? So you can just clip it right in there. And then when the fish bite, it comes off, right? So uh, a harnessed rigged bait. It's got a great action to it. It's just a good all around bait that you guys can throw pretty much anywhere you are. So if that speaks to you, those are available now from Signal. Staying in the paddle tail realm for a minute, our friends at Evergreen Japan did a special batch of the Evergreen Head Shaker for us. Now, we've had the hev Head Shaker Heavy before, mm -hmm. right? One of our best selling baits, really an amazing bait. It's got a lot of head movement to it because of the shape of the build. This is the regular version, so the non heavy version. So, this is going to be a beautiful one for staying high in the calm if you fish it by itself or a great one to use as a swim jig trailer. So it fits on the Waze, it fits on any of the OSP swim jigs, fits on the Evergreen, the Grass Ripper, beautifully, right? So these are available a ton of colors. These are all gonna be five inch. If you guys don't remember uh, this bait from when we had them before as the heavy version, I'll just show you really quick again. It's got a little bit of unique shape to it. You can see it's relatively the same width, but when you turn it this way, you can see it's got this kind of crazy triangular shape to it. So those grooves and that design of that wider back really cause it to have a lot of side to side head shake, thus the name, right? So just a great all around swim bait. They're all in five inch size, but those are available now from Evergreen. All right, Jeff, I know that you have been begging me to bring back that big kinku worm. I've been Nets. on my hands and knees. <laughs> I don't know what their problem is. I see. Can't get it. I don't know. I just don't think they're going to make it anymore. It's been like three years. But, but okay. good news for us. Oh, okay. Evergreen's decided to step in and take the reins. Finally, okay? somebody does it. Finally, a legit worm. Let's see okay? it. This is probably going to be the best drop shot worm of all time. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I introduced to you guys the evergreen <laughs> bow worm. Hey, what size weight am I throwing with this drop shot? Dude, this thing is sick. Pull a out. true 12 inch worm from evergreen bow worm, bow worm, call it whatever you want to call it. This thing is sick. Now it's going to be available in a float and a high float. I will tell you right now that the float is more of a 
slow sink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you really want it to float, get the high float one. The float one is really gonna be more of like a Senko. So here you go. Here's a look at it. Uh, what's dope about this is the trend right now in worms is to make long and skinny, right? Mm. So we have like the Dull Life Crawler Slim, like we're getting a lot of those. We're not seeing a brand take a stab at developing like a true worm in this kind of size, uh -huh. okay? Now, this is uh, designed to be fished a bunch of different ways. You guys can see that it's, it's, it's big, it's relatively soft. As it quivers, it has that very nice natural kind of Senko fall if you get the one that's sinking. The floating one is designed to fish on the surface like as a wacky rig. Hmm. So as it pulls, it's got a real nice quiver to it. You can also use it as a jig trailer and have this thing as it falls, it lands, and then the tail just lifts straight up. You can use it on a Carolina rig, on a free rig, and this thing is just going to lift up and have this crazy movement. It's a really cool bait, okay? I'm excited for you. There's a ton of ways that you guys can fish it. You can nickel rig it, which is the way that they traditionally will fish a worm of this size uh, in Japan, nail weight hook in the middle, and then, you know, anytime we're talking about magnum plastics like this, the same thing that's happening with a glide bait or a big swim bait that's drawing fish's attention, you're doing the same thing with this, right? You could throw a little two inch or three inch worm down there and it will be very lifelike. You throw a 12 inch worm and everything in the area is gonna come look at it, okay? So then it's on you mm -hmm. to get them to eat it, right? So a ton of colors in there. Uh, anywhere from some crazies that'll be great like during spawn or you know as a floating worm to some naturals, some green pumpkins, some IUs. So super stoked for this one. I know you guys are gonna catch a ton of fish on it. So that is available now from Evergreen. And then to go along with that, we see a special Unagi rig or eel rig, okay? So this is a special rig that comes with the hook, a little uh, mount, it's got braid attachment designed really to rig into a big worm like this and fish it without a Texas rig or without a free rig, kind of just it's as its own thing, okay? These are gonna be available in a large and a medium size. The medium is designed for worms up to eight inches, the large for worms up to 12 inches, okay? So if you're gonna do the big one, get the large. If you're gonna try this on a smaller worm, like uh, maybe a smaller doe life crawler, a uh, robo worm, something like that, you can get the medium. We rigged one of these up the other day when these came in so we could play with it. I wanted to show you how it looks rigged. So in essence, this is what you're going to get. So inside of here is that whole rigging harness. So it's gonna slip inside the worm. It's gonna offset your hook back here in the back. There's a little clip that you can attach whatever weight you want to attach. You can put any little free rig weight on there. You can do a light one, a heavy one, and then the whole worm just crawls along the bottom and just has a unique kind of movement to it on the bottom that you're not going to be able to get with a Texas rig or something else. So kind of a cool little rigging system, a super sick worm, right? I'm stoked for the worm. Rigging system's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play with it, but there's just so many things you could do with the worm from free rig to jig trailer to fishing it on the surface. So have fun with that guys. The new bow worm, bow worm from Evergreen available now. All right, speaking of wacky rigging soft plastics, Jeff, a new inchy wacky from Zapu arrives. Okay, so four different sizes. This is the Zapu Power Inchy Wacky. Now the Inchy Wacky is our number one selling weighted wacky jig head. Okay. The Power version is designed for guys to be able to throw this, I mean, I was gonna say on a bait caster, it's really just designed to throw it into heavier cover. Mm. So typical Inchy Wacky is a real light hook. It's got just a traditional like one strand guard. This is going to give you a real durable like Teflon coated Ryugi hook. Ooh. It's gonna give you an actual like jig brush guard. So they want you to be able to take this and Wacky Rig and pitch finesse soft plastics into toolies, around wood, underneath a dock, something where you might need to hit them with some 16 pound, 20 pound braid, maybe even. So it's giving you an option now to throw a weighted wacky rig around heavy cover with heavier line, which is pretty cool because that's not a technique that the fish really get to see, mm -hmm. right? Usually a heavy cover is flipping, pitching, normal stuff, jigs, right? So now you've got some options. So four different weight options. This would be a killer one on that, bow worm. It would be right? sick. 
All right, so there you go, guys. Four sizes, brand new from Zappu. The Power Inchy Wacky, those are available now. And a quick little restock notice. <clears throat> Our friends at Gancraft did a special batch of the Jointed Claw 70s for us. We see a huge return. Almost every color, uh, both in the floating and sinking return. This is, this is the best selling jointed claw. Isn't that Easily crazy? Enough, yeah. Isn't that crazy? So pretty much every other glide bait, like the big one, is the best selling. But in this one, the small one just absolutely crushes it. And the biggest reason for that is it just catches fish. It catches fish. It's, it's a, fun. It is. It's just a great little bait. So if you guys are trout fishing, trout destroy this thing. Mm -hmm. If you guys are bass fishing or BFS fishing or fishing somewhere where you need a smaller profile, a little pond or from shore or something, that's it. they smoke this thing. Don't have to really do much to it. You just fish it, spec it out for you. It's obviously 70 millimeters, 4.6 grams. Okay, so it's light, but it's a great fish catcher. So again, floating and sinking, all colors back from Gancraft. All right, Jeff, new from Jackal Japan. Ooh. We don't say that very often. Not very often, yeah. but I like when you say it. You do? So hot. Okay, enough of that, it's getting weird. <laughs> Okay, one of our best-selling soft plastics from Jackal Japan over the last couple of years has been the Drift Fry, okay? This is the brand new Drift Fry 4.0. And there's a ton of colors in it, so they're all natural-based colors. I'll take this out so you can see it. So, obviously, as the name suggests, it's 4.0 inches. Whoa, who would have seen that coming? Crazy, huh? <laughs> so, if you guys aren't familiar with the Drift Fry, this is a unique bait fish shaped bait that has a little lip to it. So you can use this, uh, Zappu shows this bait being used a lot on their Inchi Wacky, mm. where they'll put an Inchi Wacky right through the front and then they just shake it with a rod and that lip causes the bait to really kind of roll side to side, look super natural. You can put it on a little ball head and this will act like a little crankbait and it'll have just a super, super minute little tight wobble. Uh, the tail's a little bit different on this one. So you've got a little bit more of a squared off tail, hollow. So you're gonna get some great movement out of it and some great life. So just a very natural bait. Of course, you can drop shot it, you can figure it, you can do whatever you want, but really designed to be used on one of those little heads, uh, whether it's the Zappu or a little ball head. So there you go, bunch of cool colors from Jackal, the Drift Fry, Drift Fry 4.0. I'm halfway through a can of Oreo. Yeah, That's like how that. good it is. <laughs> okay, those are available now. All right, we've been getting a lot of requests to uh, restock these guys. The Jackal Dow's swimmers are back, uh, both in the 220 size, which is probably my favorite size, and, and also the 180 size, if you just want a little one, right? Mm. So those are available, a bunch of colors, some supernatural colors. Uh, do you ever throw the Dow's swimmer, Jeff? I know you and I talk about this bait yeah, a lot. Yeah, I've thrown the 220. Okay, it's what is... badass, actually, because... <laughs> It seems this is a very trendy style right now in Japan, but Agreed. it hasn't really caught on here. We have a three-piece bait, but you can glide it, and it glides pretty well. Yep. But you can also just burn it and swim it in, and it looks good, too. Yeah. So it's like a two-in-one. So you can be on a, on a nice spot where they're gliding it, gliding it, and then you want to burn it away from the cover. This is the bait to do that, where you can't really do that with the traditional glide. Yeah. So... Yeah, so it's this got a one, lot of versatility to it. I think this is the best one that does both. I would agree. I've tried the Gancraft ones. They're okay, but you have to be very delicate with the Gancraft. But this one, you can really put in the work to get it to glide. Yep. And then you can just simply just reel it in and it swims good. I would say I don't compliment Jackal a lot. I would say one thing that they do incredibly well is their their big baits, like their hard big baits, they, they whether do. it's the Gantrell or the Dows or whatever, they do really well. they're super user friendly. Yeah. They're super easy. So if you guys are just getting into glide baits and you just you want ease, that's it. Jackal's a great way to go. Yeah. Okay. So check it out. There's a bunch of colors in both sizes. Those are available now. And then it's been ages since we've been able to get any kind of parts for these, but spare tails are also available. We only got the 180 spare tails hmm. in, but there's a bunch of colors in them. Uh, hopefully we'll see the 220s come right behind those, but those are available now, yes. The, the 220s, they do, they come with spare tails. Yes, so the so. 220 does come with a spare tail. Yeah. So th that's obviously, Bonus. you're gonna be good for a while <laughs> yeah. on there. I mean, hopefully you need more, <laughs> you know what I mean? So those are all available now from Jackal Japan. All right, Jeff, a couple of reels to talk about really quick. We see a restock this week in what has become our best-selling BFS reel, the oh. Alba Baron BFS from Japan. Most of these are righties. There are still a couple lefties over there. But 
It's not nothing personal, uh, right? It's yeah. just it's just what <laughs> it's, just, it's just what they send. Me, yeah. Right? <laughs> so the Aldebaran BFS. You know, I am much more of a Daiwa fan when it comes to reels usually, but the Aldebaran series is a killer series that I really enjoy. So this has just got a nice feel to it. It's made in Japan, of course. It's a beautiful reel that's not too small, not too big. It literally feels great on any BFS. So whether you're putting on a Tri-Z Yellow or Pop X stick, uh, an X Pride BFS, whatever you put it on, it just fits really, really well and it casts like a dream. So those are available again now for you BFS guys. And then our best selling Metanium of the year, the Metanium Shallow Edition, also back in stock. And these are gonna be back in all gear ratios, both righty and lefty. So if you guys missed out on any specific gear ratio, these return, this is in essence the same Metanium that you guys are used to, but in a shallow spool edition. So what that's going to do is that's going to give you a little bit more accuracy and a little bit more control than a traditional metanium would give you or a metanium DC would give you, okay? So for throwing lighter baits, for real close range, for skipping, for anything like that that's more close and accurate, this is the one to get, okay? So it's just got a special spool that's synced up with all the cast control in there. It's going to give you all of those. So it's gonna have the same curb appeal, the same feel as a regular metanium, just in that shallow spool edition. So those also are back from Shimano, Japan. All right, Jeff, and let's end it with uh, some rod restocks from Mega Bass. Some of my favorite rods return. I posted this one on Instagram earlier this week, but this is the TS Destroyer Poker. Okay, one of everybody in the shop's favorite rods. Uh, we got another batch of those in. Pretty much every time we get them in, they evaporate out of here. This is a 7-2, uh, I would call it a heavy plus kind of rod. This is my go-to frog rod. It's an amazing rod for weedless swim bait, something like a Citizen, Magdra Freestyle. A lot of people even love this rod for a glide bait, like a Tiny Clash, one of those Shad Glides would be great. It is rated up to three ounce. What's nice about the TS Destroyer is it is a cross weave graphite, just like P5, okay? So it's a little bit heavier, a little bit more, you know, designed for combat, but it's going to have that same give. So even though it's relatively fast with a light tip, once you get into it, it bends in a really beautiful way uh, with a ton of power. So pokers return. We also see a bunch of P5s come back. So some of my favorite models, the Whippet returns. This is a great spinning rod for a lighter jerk bait. So if you guys are looking for, you know, something to throw a pointer 78, you know, an X Nana hand, something like that, the Whippet is incredible for that. We also see a return of the X Bites. So a great finesse jig rod, uh, Texas rig rod, quarter, three eighths up to half. That one returns. The bait finesse rod returns. This is a great bait casting, you know, drop shot, Neko rig, light bait finesse type stuff. And then one of my all time favorite spinning rods, the baby plugging also returns uh, from Mega Bass. All right, and there's one final tease, Ooh. Jeff. As you guys know, we are doing pre-orders right now on the new USA Destroyer P5 models. Okay, those are expected to come. We're saying early to mid-February. That's going to be a little bit of a shifting scale. I think that's pretty accurate. I'm 90% sure that's when it's gonna ship. It could possibly be slightly sooner, but I'm gonna stay with, you know, mid-February, okay? Couple of the models that you guys have been asking me a ton of questions about are their new bottom contact models, the FMJ and BMG. And we'll bring you, Jeff and I will go out, we'll include CJ in this too, I guess. We'll go shoot some videos and show you guys exactly what these rods do. I've been using an FMJ now since earlier in the year when Jeff and I went back to Michigan. It is one of those special rods. For me, you guys hear me talk about the Windbuster and the Mad Bull like all the time, right? Because those rods just become so in sync with you. This rod is the same way. So if you guys are familiar with the old FMJ, forget everything you knew. Hmm. Totally different rod. Okay, so this is a 7.3. I'm gonna call it a heavy. So if you're a Loomis guy, this is going to be comparable to like an 8.94 would be, okay? My Loomis are gone, by the way. I think you guys are gonna be surprised how much fun these rods are. So this is a typical fast action rod, but in great Mega Bass style, it's got that nice soft tip to it. 
right? It's got lots of power. This is gonna be amazing. I was throwing dark sleepers on it, crush them. It handles the three quarter and the half ounce, a jig, a football jig, a Texas rig, spinner bait, like all of those things in that half to three quarter ounce range are gonna be killer on that. If you're throwing lighter, if you're throwing like compact jigs, three eighth ounce stuff, quarter ounce, then stay with the X-Bytes, okay? But for that next level up, this one's unbelievable, the FMJ. So again, these are going to be launching in February. If you guys wanna pre-order, you guys will be the first to have your hands on it. The other rod, <laughs> <coughs> that one's gone. Thanks, see Griff. You later. Yeah, see that one. Um, the other one that a lot of you guys have been asking questions on is the BMG, okay? Now, Jeff, you were throwing this one when we were back in Michigan, Hi. when we were doing the final prototypes of the sleeper gill. Yes. Okay, what were your thoughts on it? Uh, I like the rod overall. It's pretty sensitive because I was bombing that sleeper grill super far out. It was low and slow and you could feel all the bites. You can feel it load up on the bite like, okay, that's a fish. That's not grass because I've been feeling grass and rock and that's a fish. So it's a really nice rod and jacking them even on that far of a cast. No problem. No problem. Pinned them so well. Yeah. So this is a rod that's going to surprise a lot of people coming from Mega Bass. Mega Bass usually isn't known for bottom contact, like jigging worm and flipping and that kind of stuff. It's never really been their forte. People are going to be shocked by these two rods. So the BMG is a 7.5. It's an F7, so like an extra heavy, but it's far from a broomstick. You can see it's got a really nice light tip, so it's gonna load and cast incredibly well, but it's got a ton of power to it. So if you guys are fishing big football jigs, swim bait like a sleeper gill or six inch mag or any of that stuff that's legit three quarter to one ounce stuff and you just need a longer rod with a lot of power, this is it. Super fun rod. It weighs nothing for being 7.5. It's not tip heavy. It's not anything. It's just a beautiful, beautiful rod. So. Consider those two rods. If you guys have been looking for the ultimate bottom contact rod, like I said, these are replacing my Loomis. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with everybody after you get some time behind them. But both of those are available for pre-order now. And again, we'll do a lot of videos on these so you guys get a full scope of exactly what's coming to you. But those are available from Mega Bass. Taking that one too? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, those you. are gone. All right. See you later. <laughs> All right, my friends, that is a wrap for us. Cheers to you. Happy Sunday, everyone. Hopefully those bentos bring you a lot of joy and some other really cool baits that arrived this week. Jeff, we got one more What's New video before Christmas. You got all your shopping done? No, I haven't even started. I forgot Christmas was a thing. Okay. Well, put me at the top of the list. Hi, okay. what do you want? What do you, what do you, what do you want? Hey, 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 hey. Relax there, guy. Only one thing needed, Jeff. Cheers, my friends. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Pray for me around here. Bunch of cocksuckers. On behalf of myself and angry Jeff and angry Griff and everybody else here at the Hookup Tackle, guys, thank you for giving us time on your Sunday mornings. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the business. If you guys have questions on anything we covered, drop it down below, and I will definitely get to it. Go hug your family. Go catch some big fish. Try not to freeze if you live somewhere where there's snow and ice. I feel for you. Cheers. Happy weekend.